because when I was taken hostage in South America, when they wanted to kill me, you know, when they wanted to kill me, there was probably not one second left. Because for me, it's very important for God, time doesn't exist. And this is the meaning, I call this my Rolex now, you know. Because the finger, seven guns were on the trigger. I was sitting in the mud, naked, and they were ready to shoot. That was probably half second, and then they would shoot. And in that, in that fraction, which for God is a million years, to intervene, I said, God, if you exist, save me now. And the miracle happened. And a, a gang came out from the bush. That was really a second, you see. So I see how timeless time is. And, and when God, when, 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 when Christ said to me, in my name you will be stronger. I, I learned it with Father Sophroni, of course, afterwards, that in the name of Christ we are timeless. We come to the eternity now in the presence of Christ. So this is such an important thing, you know. I'm just r running around the whole planet now to sell chotkis, komboskinis. And in America, in, for the Protestants, they go masses. And I say, you do it and ask Father Zofroni, can I do it? And they said, in a simple way, no problem. You can, you can have the blessing, see. And it works. Yeah. Before my conversion, after having been through the different world religions, um, when I when I wanted to to know Christ Himself, I said to that man, that man who made an exorcism with me, I cried to Buddha. He didn't answer. I cried to Allah. He was behind the Mars, behind the Moon, far away. No answer. I tried to Krishna, to Vishnu, to Shiva, to Ganesh, all these gods, no answer. And, and Confucius and Lao Tse. And that man said to me, they cannot answer because they are dead. They are religious founders. And then this guy said something very interesting. Christ is risen from the dead. Christos Anesti, he said. I said, you're kidding. A man cannot come back from the dead. He said, no, a man cannot, but God can. And Christ is God and man, both. And, and I said to this man, if Christ is risen from the dead, you, I test you, I, as I want to be tested myself. I test you, then I can speak to him. When I, uh, when I ask your name, you will answer, you give me your name, so, because you're living. So I said, God, if you're living, I can ask you questions. And you will answer me. If you don't answer me, I don't believe you. And the man said, it was a priest. He said, God will answer you. He was very convinced. And I said, I'll test, I'll test it. And I, ans I asked Christ at the moment of the communion, I was not a Christian yet, do you accept me in to take your body and your blood? And Christ spoke to me audible in my ear, yes, come, I have forgiven you everything. That was the the Big Bang of Love. The, that was the meeting. So, that is the difference between religion and revelation. God revealed himself to the world, but he revealed himself to Klaus. And he reveals himself to everyone who, as the scripture says, knock and I will open. Not by curiosity, it doesn't function. You must be serious seeker. And if God does not answer, and that's what the, you, you young people tell me sometimes, I'm knocking, but he's not answering. He said, he was doing it in another way. If he speaks to you, my life is just stupsy turned. It's so round now. It's become very difficult life now. But blessed, very good, but blessed life. But this energy I need, you don't have maybe. God knows how much you can stand, how much I can stand. So he will reveal himself to you through a, through a cat, through a Bible verse, through a, a very nice person. He always reveals, he always answers. So God, orthodoxy is the answer from heaven to earth. Religion is the seeking answer from earth to heaven. God, where are you? God, where are you? In all directions, in all cultures. And there's only one answer to the prophets, to Moses, and since that time the only answer was Christ, here I am.
and the word I am is the secret. Not I'm happy, I'm unhappy, I am. And this is what Father Sofroni was so wonderful in his icons. He always has the book of Christ, I am, or on. And now I see, again, if I go back to Hinduism and to Buddhist meditation, this is fake life. And fake life, tricky life, comes from the enemy. He is the trick, he is the copier of, that's why the sects copy the Bible also. The sects copy Christ even. But it's not the true one. It's not all on. It's existing. I've been discussing with one of the fathers, uh, Father Raphael once in, uh, from Essex, and he said, your experience with the demons, the, because Satan and the demons spoke to me also, might be very crazy for the people, it happened like that. And he said, there is one which is existing, and the other is all on, is being. And it's a big difference, because the demons exist, but they don't have life. And that was very important to me, for Christ spoke to me later, in the second time when he spoke to me, uh, uh, don't fear, because I was afraid of Satan and his demons, in my name you will be stronger. And what did I learn from that with Father Sofroni again? Of course the Komboskini. What is that? Or on. When I go, what, I live in Switzerland, you see, and uh, we make good watches, so this is my Rolex. It's the most expensive, you know, because that takes me out of time instead of Rolex time, you know. This is very rich. And if I call the name of Christ, seriously, he's not a talisman. I am in Oon. See, that is, it took me 10 years to understand such a simple sentence. It sounds so easy in my name. In, in the Bible says many times, don't fear not, don't be afraid. But look at the Christians. They're all scared, they're all afraid of death or anything because they don't have this relation with Christ. And here we go, we have these things to come into the being, in the one with Christ. And that makes me the happiest man in the world. Even if I suffer, even if I'm worn out, it's, I feel sometimes like Apostle Paul, sorry but to compare, but you know, I'm just down, down, down all the time, but happy, 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 because I know I'm doing the good thing, because I got it, and I have to give it to the people, take it, call on the name of Christ, and He will reveal to you, He will reveal to you, and that is no religion, that is life. That is experience, and that makes all the difference. Constant. This is what I learned from Father Zofroni through the Komboskini. To be in his presence, because as soon as I go out of his presence, suffering starts. Old Adam will take over. Passions want to take over. I have, I have attacks, sexual money, food, uh, lying, like everybody. I'm not different from the other people. Some people, they hide it better, but I know the answer is there in the name of Christ. You will be stronger. So, Christ in my everyday life, I start the morning with the Orthodox morning prayers. It's about 10 pages, you know, the classical page. In some countries it's less, but the, the good ones are 10 pages. I know them by heart. But even knowing by heart, I found in 15 years so many new impulses while I pray. And then, through the day, I try to be in this on whatever I do until the evening prayers and wake up in the night. I'm constantly in this Christ consciousness, I would call it. And the more you do it, the more it grows in you. And the more the attacks of the enemy become strong also. It's very, a it's very strange thing because the enemy doesn't like that. So Christ in my life, I tell him, Jesus, I love you. If I'm a liar, tell me. Because everybody says, I love you. Do I really love you? You say, if you love me, you keep my word. Do I keep your word? Probably not very good. But I'm serious. You know that I'm very serious. I speak with him like that through the day, all the time test me, convince me, but I love you. And I don't love you, I say to him, because you make me little sorts of gifts. I love you because you love me. Because you, you, you gave me this life. I didn't have it. When you have it, you're just, you're just so full. You just say, 
I love you. I love you, Holy Spirit. You're the life giver, the, the giver of life. Holy Spirit, such a great thing. This father, I didn't have a father. I have a father. You know, these experiences are life-giving. Well, so Christ is the Alpha and Omega in my everyday life. More even when I am in the liturgy. Even in the liturgy, my mind wanders around. <laughs> but then, here we go. In Greek, I don't understand so much. I understand the liturgy, of course, anyway. It might be after many 30 years. But so this presence, what orthodoxus means, the true doxologia to, for God, the, the, the true adoration of Him. When you see the people going to church and doing a sign of cross like that, you know, you, you want to vomit. You say, wow, oh God help them to wake up. They don't know why they're here. But when you are in the, in the little, like tonight, singing, uh, the, 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 even if I don't understand, I feel myself like I am God. And I would be loved like you, people, orthos, in the right way, dox, God. You give the doxa to God. He loves that very much, I think. He's very happy for that. And that's orthodoxy for me. And in the liturgy, it takes place. And I do not allow myself, by the prayers of my friends, of my spiritual fathers, not to be absent-minded in the church. And that reminds me of Joseph Hesychastis. He said in, in one of his letters, which I translated with the censor, he was sensing in the monks, seats they were not they were empty seats because they were in presence and there were some that were absent minded he didn't sense them that was big lesson for me big lesson for me to to have christ consciousness we are liars we are hypocrites when we go to church and we don't mean what we do okay we are weak we can be weak god knows that of course but i asked for the zacharias once when i do the 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 Komuskini and my mind the theolation. Oh no, 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 no. He said, "Sorry, sorry. If I speak with you, I mean what I say. Forgive me, and I start again." This is very simple. So we can be weak, we can fall, but the, the losers are those who stay on the ground. Standing up is the point, of course. That's the good point. Yeah. So, so that's everyday life, and it became more and more in. The, the older, well, I'm 68 now, you see, I die soon. So I don't want to lose time anymore to die to myself. When I was in America, I said, I'm coming to America to conquer America. I want to conquer America, but first I must conquer myself. And then we conquer America together with the Orthodox people. Help me, please. So let me conquer ourselves first. You see, it's very, it's very, very true what you say, of course. And this is what Father Sofroni said me from the beginning. Don't speak about things which you don't have experienced. Now, what happens? Why, is, I ask you a question back, why are so many young people not going to church anymore? Greek Orthodox, Western anyway, but even Greek. I get messages from Greece, from Romania, from Bulgaria, from Russia, from all over. We don't, like, we don't like the priests anymore, we don't like the church anymore because they don't give what we look for, really. Okay, there might be pride in it, that's another point, of course. But because they get moral lessons, they get theological lessons. And I'm afraid, I, maybe I should not say that now. I have been in, 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 uh, with theologians giving talks together with a theologian and me in the same day, me in the morning the other theologian in the afternoon. When I spoke, all the people came. The hall was full. When the theologian spoke, one third was left, two thirds left. And the young people express it that way. We have heard everything in theology. All the preachers, we have heard everything. We know in our brain it is true, but it doesn't touch us because the model is not there, because it's just words and the words don't reach us. Now, in my experience is, uh, forgive me because I must be careful not to be puffed up with, uh, with uh, glorifying myself, uh, but this is just an experience, forgive me. When I speak, the mass is always 
the Orthodox bishops, the metropolitan, wherever. We have this experience all the time. You are authentic. And I say, I'm authentic. Thanks, Father Sofroni, because you warned me from the very beginning, don't talk things which you don't experience. Don't speak about death when you have died, at least for a part, in the suffering to yourself when you went the way, the way down, which paradoxically is the way up. I can talk about it because I have been suffering, as an Orthodox, I mean, before also. So suffering is nothing new. It's, it was quite helpful also. <laughs> Now when I speak with the Protestants, the Catholics are difficult. They're a little bit like Muslims, you know, they're brainwashed. As they, they were brought up as kids with the catechism. It's the only saving church, so you don't get that out of their brain. Unless they are really frustrated to see the Catholic mass and some become Orthodox then. But the Protestants, with 20, I think there are more than 20,000 denominations. So they invite me for talks and when I speak with them, then it becomes interesting now. What is touching them? Of course, they ask me also the questions about the mother of God. She's not in the Bible. Uh, about the relics, it's not in the Bible. About the, the, the paintings of saints, it's not in the Bible. And they wait for a good answer. And I say, well, my dear friend, wonderful question. I love you ask me these questions. This is how I want to transmit it to them. I said, I'm new, Father Zofroni. Father Zofroni, He's physically dead, but he was such a close friend of mine. He was, we were so good relation friends. I know he's praying for me, but he's dead. I said, does his soul die? His soul cannot die. Physically, yeah. But the soul is, the, you know the Bible, there's people who speak of eternal life. So, Father, so, oh, oh, yeah, maybe you're right, yeah. So he's a saint. And now you look at the Facebook. I said in the church sometimes, the, the, the icons, is a, is a form of Facebooks, you know. You have all your friends there. And when you want to know them, like Christ, they reveal to you. They reveal to you. St. George, St. Uh, Seraphim of Sarov, St. Basil, whatever's their name. Saint, uh, they reveal if you want it. But you must make the experience. And it's convincing, so it's transmittable. Unless they are too much brainwashed in the, in the Protestant evangelical way, but Funny, sometimes they think Orthodox is just another sect, you know, like the Protestant denomination. Well, you're Orthodox, okay, it's fine, yeah, okay. Lutheran, Protestant, whatever, you're all. And then when they understand more, then they become curious. And as I said before, again, it's not glorifying me, but glorifying Christ. So many numbers became truly Orthodox. Some entered even monasteries became sisters and, and fathers and, and the brothers in the monasteries, Protestants, because I have answers from experience and not from book knowledge. And uh, now when these people criticize the priests, when they criticize the, the functioners, I, I tell them, I'm not a good Christian myself, so if you judge me, you must find the truth, not the priest, if he doesn't have it, but he has the right message. If, if, if the king of, of, of Greece at the time sends a message from Thessaloniki to Athens by horse, somebody's riding down, and he comes without shaving, and, and by beggars and, 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 and in the rain, he comes like a, like a clochard, he comes in Athens. The, and he reading the message of the king f from Athens to Thessaloniki, whatever you say, you don't believe the message because you don't see that the guy is looking bad. So this cannot be the, the reason. Let the man, he, don't judge him, because if you judge, you make yourself God. You sit on the throne of God and you judge. Then you're worse than the others. Love him, and if he really, if he's not a spiritual father, you can change. Go to another, there are many priests here. You can find one. God will help you. So the way to transmit faith the message also in almost all cases functions because they continue to invite me all the time. <laughs> they like me very much, the free churches and the Protestants. And they are thirsty. And I said when we came up the steps before, I have the impression the end of time is in 20, 30 years. If it continues like that, I have the impression traveling around in all these countries 
also Catholic and Protestant churches and Orthodox, that God is separating the, the sheep and the goats or the, the wheat and the chaff. I can see that, I can see that. On the other hand, comes to my mind what Father Zofroni said, when the people have nothing and they suffer, they really long for God, so we can have 5,000 years more. Only God knows, of course. But uh, it's very interesting to see in my experiences how people are really seeking. And I have met people so deep involved in yoga and esoteric movements. They'll be Baptists soon. I think in July we baptize them now, Orthodox.